सबस्त एंटरटेनमेंट said we leave the room so it was just me and shristi and my husband and like a light guy you know so it was a top shot so my husband was uh, standing oh my like God. with his legs apart and we were inside his legs so he was on top and trying to shoot it like this you know with the camera setup and stuff so he was like okay and then i told him since i have to be kissing her so you just give me the action and then you just give me the cut when you think you've got the shot so we were all intimate and getting in the mood and stuff and as so he goes action so when i spoke to aishman later he was like i thought you would take like two three shots but then can you believe it we got it right the first take the first that is the first take yeah we we just we just I mean, got into the mood like, yeah i wanted and then the, like, the funniest part so we started kissing and it was supposed to be like you kiss for a few seconds and then the camera slowly like you know goes out of focus and then that's the end of the scene and we are both kissing and kissing and kissing and mm-hmm. waiting for him to say cut and he's like he's done shooting and he's sitting down on the side and he's enjoying and and then after okay. a second well i was like why are you saying cut and he was like when am i going to get to see something like this in my life you know i'm just yeah. enjoying it so that yeah. was it was it was it was fun but then we got it right the first shot it looked really convincing and real that's what a lot of people said and even we felt it even during editing it actually looks legit you know it looks nice so i think there was no discomfort nothing while doing that scene with trishti at all so you had gotten mad at her during the time you posted uh, the series so how was the reaction from in laws your husband and everyone oh my husband has been a part of this team like throughout you know and i'm so lucky and privileged to be married into a family where where there's like we all think alike you know we all put all of these aside and we believe in humanity and we believe in treating everyone for who they are and for the um space and freedom and the equality that they deserve and nobody comes before anybody no matter what caste or what religion or what uh, sexual orientation you are and that's exactly how my mother in law and my father in law they are as well and they have been fully supportive um, of this journey of me playing whatever roles until now you know or whatever choices that i make in terms of work or the kind of um characters that i choose to portray i've i've been blessed to be first born into this family that i've been born into and then now to be married into an equally amazing family so it's been a blessing and how has the feedback from the community been oh my god the feedback was massive i had never expected that you know my episodes would hit like a million views and a million views and with the entire world coming together if you go through the comment section every week i used to cry you know because i used to be so overwhelmed reading the the comments and mm-hmm. people would reach out to me on my instagram a lot of people they actually came out to me on their insta dm saying i've never had the guts to say this to anybody but i think you would listen and understand so i actually made friends from the series from across the world who who i communicated with and who shared their stories with me and stuff so it's been a beautiful blessing i'm actually so glad that i actually decided to do jazz you know great 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 and so priyanka like so what do you think like have queer people generally been accepted in nepali culture or nepali film industry If you actually compare Nepal with just in the South Asian the entire market you know I think Nepal's acceptance is pretty high to be quite honest pretty high in terms of the other countries in our Southeast Asia belt you know uh, having said that obviously there's still a lot to go but then here I see the acceptance or the understanding a lot more Mm-hmm. then i would i think i would see in other um, countries surrounding us or in the southeast asian belt you know um i just see a lot of people especially now a lot of people are talking about it and i think that's important you have to talk about it you have to let the world know who you are you have to embrace it because if you don't do it then there can't be people standing behind you if you're the one hiding inside you know so you have to come out and right now there's a lot of allies and people who understand and people who will be cooperative and supportive and i think that has taken a huge momentum in nepal and it's actually growing and it's people are coming out coming together in a, in a very beautiful way i think in nepal okay so now priyanka will be doing a quick rapid fire round with you wherein i'll be giving you two questions and of course you have to select one so you ready okay yeah cool so because you're saying uh, asha bhosle or lata mangeshkar um lata mangeshkar i think i mean i love both but if mm-hmm. i just had to pick one momos or samosa momos any day london or los angeles uh london thailand or bali 
Bali. <laughs> okay. Where's that you, Chanel? Uh, Chanel. That was Bali. hard, though. Okay. Sari or Langa? Sari, any day. I love Sari. Okay. Singing or acting? Mm, acting, I guess, because acting will give me opportunities to sing along the way, you know? Mm -hmm. And afternoon picnic or candlelight dinner? A candlelit dinner, any day. Okay. So I've been seeing your pictures with Ayushman on the internet and I must say you both make such a cute couple. So how is marriage working with Ayushman? Uh, marriage has been wonderful because right after we got married, uh, it's been, we're under lockdown. It's almost 80, 90 days now. And it's been the longest honeymoon that anybody could ever dream of <laughs> because he and I, we just live on our own. So it's just the two of us. And before marriage, you know, I've spent an amazing almost three years with him as, as a friend, as a boyfriend, as a fiancé, as one of my dearest friends that he's turned out to be. Mm -hmm. But this lockdown and after the marriage, the time that I got to spend with him has actually helped me understand him better as a husband, you know, because there are so many things that you don't know until you actually start living with a person. You see them for both the good times and the bad times. And it's very important to accept them for who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't try to change them because, oh, you didn't show this side to me. So it's a learning process. It's a gradual learning process. And I'm learning him and he's learning me. And the learning process has been beautiful. So it's been a blessing, this marriage. Okay. And uh, how can a person be a good ally to the queer community? I mean, why do you have to be a good ally? I mean, just be a good person. Mm -hmm. If you're a good person, then you wouldn't butt in or interfere in anybody else's life, you know? It's just as simple as that, I think. But then... Mm -hmm. As simple as it sounds, for a lot of people, like I said in the beginning, I think it usually also depends on the environment that you grow in and the kind of education you've received or the kind of things you've heard, you know, because that shapes you and that shapes the way you think. But then you can always unlearn, you know, mm -hmm. even for people who've learned uh, it the harsh way, like not being supportive to the LGBTIQ community or being harsh or if you're, your mind is just trained that way or if you've learned all those things, then unlearn it. You know, it's not too late. Mm -hmm. Unlearn it. You can always be a better person. And by being a better person, it doesn't mean that, oh my God, you have to sing waves for them and appreciate them and talk about them all day. No, just be neutral. Just like you have your space and you have your own freedom to do things. So do they. Just respect that. Know the boundaries and don't overstep. That's all you have to be to be an ally, you know. Just respect them, respect their space, respect who they are and what they choose to be and just don't interfere. That's all you have to do, to be quite honest. Cool, cool, cool. And Priyanka, there are so many people out there who are struggling to come out, you know, who find it really pressurizing to be themselves and, you know, who are in the closet. So what is that one message you'd want to give them? You know, um, it's very difficult for me to just say do this and do that, you know, because I don't know what kind of experiences shape you or what kind of things that you've gone through. But then finding the courage and expressing to the world or to start off with just your near and dear ones and your family about your truth and about who you really are is actually going to help, you know, because as long as you don't speak, as long as you don't reveal your true self, which is beautiful, because everybody's beautiful, no matter what you are, who you are, what you choose to be, you know, you're beautiful, you're precious, you're made that way. That's, that's who you are. So if you choose that and if you embrace that and if you're proud about it and talk about it, make people understand, I don't think anything is impossible, you know. So no matter what the circumstances or what kind of background or what kind of upbringing that you come from that holds you back, like I just want to say I hope you find the courage to come out and reveal your true self because that is truly beautiful and that's how people will actually appreciate you and know you. And it's a matter of time. It might not be today, tomorrow, but I'm sure that the world will eventually understand because how difficult is it? Come on, you just have to accept a person for who you are. I'm sure we'll get there. Okay, so as we end our interview, there's one final question for you. So we know that you okay. love traveling. So what is that one place you want, want to go Like once this quarantine thing is done? So right after our wedding, we couldn't even go to our honeymoon. Uh, and I really wanted to go to Europe for our honeymoon. There were places that we were saving and not we haven't gone until now. We wanted to go to Greece and you know, go, wanted to go to Capri and that, that side. Uh, so that's one place that I really want to go after the lockdown is over or whenever we get a chance. And I really want to go there with my husband So okay. since I've been saving it. So that's something I'm looking forward to. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Priyanka, for your lovely time and support. It means a lot. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm wishing you all the success and you're amazing. 
Thank you so Thank much you for having so me. Much. I've had such an amazing time sharing so uh, whatever knowledge that I I could, and I hope that it really inspires people, like we talked about the entire time, um, to actually first, uh, you know, respect the boundaries, respect people for who they are, and for people in the LGBTIQ community, just know that we love you. There's mm-hmm. so many people out there who love you, so just just don't be don't be afraid to be yourself and just to mm-hmm. show who you are because because you're beautiful no matter what. I think you should remember that. Thank you so much. All right. Bye Priyanka. It was so good having Bye. you. Bye. Okay, good night. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Good night. Okay, you guys. So that was Priyanka with us. So for more information on Balma the app, you can log on to www.balmatheapp.com and you can subscribe to it for all the new updates and alerts and make sure you participate in the balma idol contest where you can st- win uh, win 10000 rupees you guys so there are three prizes number 1 number 2 number 3 first prize gets uh, 10000 rupees okay so make sure you do it all right so bye guys thank you so much for having me here thank you so much balma app for giving me this opportunity to do it it means a lot to me so as i told you guys before balma is all about you know oh fuck that's my phone so balma is all about empowering young talent Thank you so much guys. God bless you all and remember don't let anyone take away your shine. I love you. Bye.